begin with a story on Computer Warehouse Group as it commissions a data center in Lagos. Recently, data generated across the world, as rightly predicted by experts, a few years back has become so massive that it's become a huge challenge for enterprises to manage the flow of information at their disposal. As more bank processes get automated, customers now do more on the virtual space than they did years before. Hospitals now have patients' information and health records in the cloud. Governments have realized how much money they can save by automating their processes, and they are doing more of that. What about voice calls zipping through digital phone lines, your text messages, uploads and downloads of music, videos and pictures? Simply put, the world is more connected today than ever before. The question is, where does all this information go to? That's why it's got to be the currency. Today we use, uh, maybe a few years ago, nobody knew what uh, debit card was. Uh, we're just using cash. In Nigeria, gradually we are catching up with the ATM uh, evolution. But in the future, we will be communicating and the most important currency is going to be data. Uh, as you see, the richest companies, the biggest companies, they trade data. They trade information. And for every button you press on your people, what basically happens is that you are creating data. For every time your um, your iPhone, your ATL, your, your Blackberry, what you are doing is that you are creating more data. What this leads to is that this data has to be processed, has to be stored somewhere. The location of that storage is usually a data center. But according to CWG, data explosion is not a problem. Rather, it is an opportunity for IT solution providers to help organizations manage their information, which comes at a lower cost and allows them focus on their core areas. This was exactly CWG's position as it commissioned a three-tier data center in Lagos recently. We are also putting out a co-location facility for especially banks that already have a production site and needlessly building disaster recovery sites. And what we're saying is it's more cost effective to co-locate regarding your disaster recovery and share. So we, we, we have a 50 rack capacity data center. It can take about six or seven banks for the disaster recovery. Instead of them going to build that by themselves. Here we the data center is designed to host mission critical servers and computer systems with fully redundant subsystems like cooling, power, network links, and storage, among others. Its compartmentalized security zones are biometric access controlled. Here we have the power, we have looking after the system, we have the cooling, and all share the cost. So that is the advantage. But more importantly, what? Considering the huge cost of running data centers, experts say career neutral data centers such as this is an option as it takes away the hassle of data management and helps in disaster recovery. Nothing less than 300 million to build a standard data center. And for organizations, with the CBM also uh, encourage it. There's a need for sharing. If every single person starts building data centers in Nigeria, they're going to have a total data center everywhere. The world's information is doubling every two years. In 2008, it was predicted that in 2011, the world will create a staggering 1.8 zettabytes. That has long been surpassed. What's new is that by 2020, the world will generate 50 times the amount of information. There's a lot happening in the industry today. And many, many companies are finding the need to set up data centers and also companies are also finding the need to use data centers uh, in a very big way in Nigeria. From the CWG data center, we take you to the Sheraton Hotel Ikeja, venue of this year's Africa Digital Awards and induction into the other hall of fame.